What's up everybody, welcome back to Goshen's Games, and I am bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And I just did a video on uh, on fighting Buhan with an agility team with double Super Vegito leads. Uh, on this video here, I'm going to be bringing you a strength team that I like to use uh, in order to fight um, a Buhan. Uh, the strength team is a bit of a longer fight. Um, and the whole th the whole reason is because it's more of a tanking team than anything else. Uh, let me just get the proper Omega Shenron here, and that way we can do this. Nope, oh, just pass one. Nope, that's Super Attack one. Come on, I need a Super Attack ten Omega. There we go. Okay, my phone's lagging a bit. Um, where are you? All right. So let me. Let me see something here. I don't know if I want to bring that God coup or not. Um, that's fine. I'll bring I'll bring the God coup. All right. So this team is more of a tank ta uh, kind of team. You got the double Mega Shenron leads. Who Mega Shenron is a massive tank. Um, that's mine right there. Look at the defense, uh, 9,800. That's really good. Plus a minus a 30% attack. Um, so, you know, double, double mega leads. That's going to bump it up quite a bit. On top of that, I have my Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who is a tank minus 80% damage for seven turns. Um, that's going to be useful for the first phase mostly. Uh, so let's see here. So for this team... Come on. All right. For this team here, I actually want to bring a different item instead of a sealer. Okay. I, I want to bring a damage reduction. I like using Icarus. Um, I, I want to I save my Weezes for harder events. Um, not that this event's not hard. It is, an, you know, it is in a sense. Um, but Icarus does the job very well. I mean, especially if I, if I move the units properly. Um, so I got the I got the ghost usher so in case I need to set up properly I can do so and then I have my dendes and my sensu beans um, So we'll go ahead and start the only downside is my Super Gogeta's level 63 right now So yeah, um, that's the only downside is my super Gogeta's or not the only downside. He's not I, I don't have anything in him for super attack, but he can crit So that that's fine. I guess um I'll deal with it. I mean, I'll, I'll raise them up. I'm just being lazy on it right now. Um, I ha I can go ahead and summon all my friend points and, and raise them up. So it's not a big deal. Um, on this one, I don't have to go key path. Ooh, I, I mean, I always check to see what's available. And I see that I have some gold capsules there for awakening metal. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for those. I don't need to go key path. They supply plenty of key to each other. Right there with the double Omega Shenrons, you have six key and then they all link extremely well together. So let me get those capsules. And I mean, if I don't get a bunch of supers off like I did with my agility team, it's not a big deal. Um, the first phase is, is just surviving for 12 turns. Um, you know, because I'm not going to do a lot of damage to them. So let's see. All right, so off to a great start. Um, all right, so I want to actually, I'm going to leave it like that. Because these two right here, the uh, the Super Saiyan 3s, look at that. They give each other like instant supers. Uh, so that's fine. That's fine. I want to keep them like that. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is going to tank. And I should be okay. If I get supered on, I should be okay. I don't see it killing me. Um, even if I get super on my super Gogeta there, um, I, I should be okay. And, you know, we're getting buffed up by the duo Mega Shenrons and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is going to take most of the damage anyway. So hopefully I get supered on my Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Or hopefully I stun because there's a 50% chance that he can stun. He's one of my favorite stunners to be honest. Nope. Didn't uh, didn't stun. It's all right. He's one of my favorite stunners because even after his passive is no longer active, he's still viable because of that stun. That's such a clutch stun. 
and that's the whole reason why I like using them. All right. Good, good. Oh, even better. Omega Shenron's going to tank everything except that one hit at the end. And I, knowing my luck, that one hit at the end will be a super. But it's it's okay. It's okay. I will survive. I will survive. Um, all right. So, we just go that way. And this is what I said. You know, I it's okay if I don't get supers off galore. It's okay. Um, and the other thing is, why am I not switching the... Uh, the God Ku and the uh, Go Tanks there is because Go Tanks can stun if I do my super, and then on top of that, he tanks better. Um, just look at his tanking stats. You know his defensive stat right there, eleven thousand versus seventy five hundred. So yeah, that's a big difference. It really is. Um, but I will super with him, so that's fine. Um, he's not a super tech ten. It sucks. Thousand damage. Wow. I thought it would actually take less than that. That's okay. Uh, am I going to get a crit? Let me get a crit on it. Let me crit. No crit. All right. So, yeah. If, if I get supered on my go tanks there, that's okay. All right. He's not going to super. Perfect. So, this god Ku, if I had his super attack up, he would actually be really good. Um, I believe his passive on super attack is raised it up by 70%. I'll check that. Let's see here. Uh, where are you? 75% when performing a super attack. So that's actually really, really good. And I'm going to tank three hits with my Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And I'm going to split up the Super Saiyan 3s right there. Um, okay, so I want my Omega to Shen, uh, to Shenron. Yeah, I want my Omega to Shenron. <laughs> I want my Omega to Super over my Super Vegito. Or Super Vegito. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Um... And then that's fine. Uh, why? Because my my Omega can crit and double attack. So if he can do both, that'll that should bypass his defenses enough to where I'm doing massive damage to him. And he's supering my Vegeta. Yes, he's gonna do nothing. Look at that, two thousand. That's a tank. That is a tank. So I said in my other video. Okay, the, the difference between my, um, my agility team and my strength team in fighting this event is this fight is a longer fight uh, versus the agility fight. The agility fight, I use more items. Um, you know, I, get, I take more damage. This is more of a, of a defensive team. So, you know, you can see the differences already. Uh, and I am going to go slusher on this last one. Because I don't want to take the double hits at the end. And there's only three charges remaining. Three turns remaining. So I can just go ahead and uh, go on to the next phase. So it doesn't matter if I super or not. Um, I'm actually not going to do much damage until I get to the physical portion of this. So it's really not a big deal. Uh, let's just go ahead and take those. And I will take those with Gogeta. And there we go. So on to the next phase. The next phase will be the strength phase. Um, I'll do more damage, but it's still not going to be enough. Not like my agility, my agility team. My agility team. By the time I got to the strength phase, I was done. Um, I, I wiped the floor with him, and I, I was able to finish him off. On this on this one here, it's not going to go as smooth. Okay, I'm not going to do as much damage. And, and then when we get to the next phase, which is the intelligence phase again with uh, Bukalo, he's going to be healing everything that I did. So, you know, that, that's the downside to this team here. And crap. All right, so now I got to separate them. I got to put the Vegeta to defend at the end. So that's okay. It's okay. Not, not a problem. Not a big deal. Um, go ahead and take care of that. And I'll get two supers off. And I like you've seen here by this point in my agility video, I healed. I don't need to heal yet. You know, I'm still good. This uh, if he supers me, it's not going to do any more than I think the maximum he'll do if he hits Omega will be 20,000. If he hits Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, it's going to be even less. So not a big deal. Okay, so you see I did I'm doing more damage now, but it's still not enough. You know, he still has that barrier. It's still not super effective. Um, so it, it, 
you know, I, I, I got to wait. I got It's just a waiting game on the strength team. All right. So, get supers off on mine. And I should be good. Even if he supers me, I'll, I'll be good. Now, if my Gogeta... Okay, if my Gogeta was max level, I would prioritize him over my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because um, he would do more damage. And I'm getting sealed right now. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I would prioritize him over my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Even though my Super Saiyan 3 Goku has a uh, level 3 super attack. And I have him a little bit in the potential system. I believe I, I awaken, or not awaken, I believe I put it into his crit. Um, but just Gogeta bypasses everything and he does, he, he, he hits harder. So, you know, that that's the whole reason behind that. Um, I still don't need to heal up. I'll probably heal up after this turn. Uh, let's see here. Okay. And there's a super. And there's a super. And hopefully the Gotenks will stun. Because if he stuns, that'll be awesome. <laughs> and hopefully my Omega doubles. Yes. Although, he oh, critical. Although, it's, you know, not a super double. That's alright, I guess. Nope, no stun. <laughs> alright, so yeah, I'm going to heal up after this one. Um... Just to play it safe. I, I still really don't need to. Um, but the passive on my Super Saiyan 3, 3 Vegeta should be wearing out. And I, I don't know if I want to take the risk or not. So I am going to heal up. I'll find out right now. I, I believe this would probably be the last turn for the, for the tankiness of Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And if it is... Um, then that's, that's okay. Then I will change the rotation on him. Uh, I am not getting supers on anything. Look at that. All right. It's like I said before, it's fine. This isn't, this is all a waiting game. Um, oh no. See, I'm glad I healed up because I just made a mistake right there. I would have, I probably would have died if I didn't heal because Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's passive is gone. So that 40k damage. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. So, alright. So now we're on to the next phase. The Bukalo phase. Yeah, yeah. Cut it off. Okay, so this phase. I hate this phase. He's going to heal back everything that I've done to him. Everything. Um... So I have options. I can Ghost Usher. Um, probably should just do a little bit extra damage. So I'll, I'll go ahead and Ghost Usher him. I don't need the Ghost Ushers for anything else. The Ghost Ushers are mainly for this phase and the Buhan phase if I'm in trouble on the Buhan phase. So right here, we are going to link them up like this. And... Like before, I'm going to prioritize my Gotenks because he is more of a tank than my Gogeta is. Um, actually, they're pretty close. They're pretty damn close. You know what? Let me prioritize Gogeta at this point. Let me get those, uh, get those supers off. <laughs> Especially since I can bypass um, the crit... Or the... Uh, not the critical hits. Um, so I can bypass the uh, super effectiveness. And he can critical hit where my Gotenks can't. So, that that's a good thing too. Uh, hopefully I'll get some criticals now. Crits? No crits. But you see I'm doing slightly more damage. Ooh, additional. Oh, I get a crit on the additional, right? That's usually how it works. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm all congested. Alright, so on the next turn, Buhan, or Bukalo is going to heal back like all of this stuff. You'll see. He'll go a full bar. Alright. 
So, want to start supering more. It's just not going to happen at this point. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Because on the next the next one I'm going to get a Dokkan attack and it's going to be on my Omega. So, like I said before, see look at that 400,000. That's so annoying. Oh, he's going to super Oh, it's going to do like almost 40k. And then there's the other freaking heal, man. There it is. Oh, I want a super on my Omega. I'm going to super on my Omega. And he just supered me, so he's not going to do it again. And he's going to hit me twice there. So I'll be okay. All right. So we're going to Dokkan attack on my Omega. He's going to heal like a bitch. This is why I said this fight takes longer. Because I have to go through more phases. Because I just don't do enough damage. Um, not until the, the next phase. <laughs> Hopefully I, I get a crit. If I get a crit on this Dokkan, that would be so freaking awesome. No crit. 300,000. It's alright. Alright, so we're on to the next phase. Alright, so. This is where I'm going to do my damage. If I don't kill him here, which sometimes it happens, if I don't kill him here, then... It's going to go on to the next phase, which is the tech phase. So let us do our, let, let me do my best and try to end it here. Because um, it, it's such a long fight. It really is. Th this is why I like this fight. Because it's a long fight. And, and, and especially right now with the power spikes because of the potential system and, and the new units. Uh, it, it changed the game. It made the events a lot easier. Um, so... I like it when there's a challenge, and that that's why I like using the strength team on this on this fight here because it brings the challenge back to it. Uh, because again, like I said, it's a longer fight. Um, if you watched my agility fight or my agility team, you saw that I did that event really quick. This one is taking a long time to do. Uh, okay, so my Vegeta can no longer tank, but my Omega can, so I'm good. So yeah, this fight's gonna go to the tech phase next. Um, you can see I got two bars left. I'm not gonna do the damage to, uh, I'm not gonna do enough damage to to end it here. Uh, my Omega, he's not he's not supering unless I get an additional with the super. If that happens, then yeah, maybe I can end it. But other than that, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Maybe I can get a crit with Gogeta. Crit? No crit. Crit with Vegeta. Crit. Crit. Come on. Come on, crit. Crit, crit, crit. No crit. Alright, so now we're getting into the tech phase. He cut out Fat Boo, and he turns into Buff Boo. Which obviously didn't happen in the anime, but still, it's cool. It's cool. All right, so we should end it here. I haven't gotten to the kid foo, the kid foo phase, <laughs> the kid boo phase. I can't talk right now. I haven't gotten to the kid boo phase because I usually end it by here. Um, if I was running in, a, in an intelligence fight or intelligence team, yeah, I'd probably get to the kid boo phase. Um, so let's see. They link up. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Probably don't need to. I do it just in case. You never know. You know, in these kind of fights, uh, I, I don't like to be cocky. I, I want to be safe. So, I, you know, I, I, I just play safe like that. Um, so, it should, it should be over. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll be over here. 
If not on, on the next next round, it'll be over. I mean, my units do hit hard enough, so it should be over. Nope. Okay. Well, it'll be over here. That's for sure. So, I'm just going to leave it like that, so that way I can get supers off. Oh, I just screwed myself. That's fine. I will put my Omega at the end, then. Um, can I get a super with my Omega? Doesn't look like it. Wow. Okay. Well, that sucks. All right. That's fine. Maybe this will be the first time I get to Kid Boo. That'll be something. It'd be a good showcase to do on, on, you know, showing every single phase on this event. No, I'm not getting Kid Boo. It's over. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. That's this fight. Like I said, it, you know, it, the strength team's fun. It just, it, it's a longer fight because I, I don't do enough damage. Um, it's more of a tank fight. The, with the agility team, I get constant supers, um, constant, uh, um, constant counters so the damage output on that team is just a lot higher this one has more of a survival survivability rate um how many do i have 98 so i need a few more um so anyways that's going to be it for this video today if you like this video go ahead hit that like button subscribe down below if as i mentioned before if you have anything that you'd like me to cover go ahead and mention in the comment section below and we'll go ahead and we'll play around with different uh different teams and different events um hopefully i can do some free-to-play guides soon uh which I, I might do it i have enough stamina so i might do a couple and and release them later on um but yeah anyways thank you very much for watching this video today this is goshen's games i will see you in my next video